Hey, and welcome to the Regen Roots Bite-Sized Agri-Science Podcast. This is a short podcast format where we bring you just that, just bite-sized topics about regenerative agriculture. Hey, Denver Black with Trent Graybill at Soilcraft HQ for a bite-sized podcast. What are we going to talk about today? Well, it's summer, still in the heat of summer, but really we're, in, we're almost to the, what they call the dog days of summer, and we're heading into the fall, so we're thinking about the fall here. And so as we think about that, what are we doing? We're talking about fall management practices. I mean, most of our crops have been harvested, you know, other than you know, hops are basically finishing up, grapes are finishing up, you know, cherries are off, apples are, of course, will be starting here soon, but going into the fall, our mint is done or about done. Potatoes are about to come off, but about, you know, so most of our crops are either harvested or coasting. We're finished. Well, we're, we're not, we're trying not to coast. We're finishing strong. We're either putting on our last beneficial biology applications, or we're putting on things like essential oils and other, other stimulants to benefit, benefit, uh, to increase beneficial biology and decrease disease. But I mean, what do you do in the fall? Think what, what? How do you think of the fall? Here at Soilcraft, we often think of the fall, at least here in the northern latitude in the Pacific Northwest, as in many ways the start of the season. I know in many of my perennial crops, especially, I saw it as the start of the season because, you know, it can be tough. We can think, okay, we're done. We've had harvest. But really, in truth, we, we're, we want to be doing everything we can to prepare for that next crop to really bolster and build that next crop. And so what are some of the practices that, that we're doing? I, mean, I know you were talking to me the other day about blueberries, which is a perennial fruit crop that's been harvested. What, what thoughts do you have when, when, when you think of the fall? What's going on at Soilcraft? So when it comes to fall, why would we put inputs after harvest? We just... Put all of our inputs on in the spring. Why do we, early why would we summer, spend more money? In the late summer, we just either we harvested our crop or we're harvesting, and then obviously into the fall, we're done, right? Mm. It's just time to rest and relax and hope we made enough to pay our bills to do it again next year. That's in general, that's just kind of the thought process because we're tired. We expended a lot of energy. And so, what we have found in looking at plant physiology and looking at soil biology and looking at plant nutrition and looking at pathogens, looking at disease load, we realize there is a huge opportunity in the fall to impact next year. Mm. And the way that I think about that is if I am a performance athlete, and I'm training for something and finish my race, there's a period of rest, obviously. Recovery, though. Recovery. But then we have to recover. How do you recover? How does an athlete recover? Does he just quit and sit and go home and sleep? No, absolutely not. He is trying to give his body everything he can, the ability to regenerate, to recover. And so um, there's a lot that goes into that. It's not just go to bed for the winter and wake up in the spring and bam, it regenerated itself. It's, it's good to go. And hey, thanks for joining us for our Regen Roots podcast. Again, if you have comments, questions, or ideas, things you want us to cover, please do us a favor, comment down below and engage with us. Tell us what you think. We would like to, we like to do our best. You know, they have what's called the curse of knowledge. And sometimes at Soilcraft, we forget some things that we're really taking for granted. So please drop us a line, make suggestions in the comments on topics you would like covered. Please visit our website, www.soilcraft.com, and our full-length podcast, the Regenerative Agronomy Podcast, both here on YouTube and on Spotify.